This is part 149 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the implications of creating temporary tables using Dynamic SQL. Temporary tables created by Dynamic SQL are not accessible from the calling stored procedure. The temporary tables are automatically dropped when the Dynamic SQL code block within that procedure completes execution. Let's prove this with an example. Let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. Here, we've got a very simple stored procedure and within this procedure we've got some dynamic SQL and we are doing three things with this dynamic SQL. We are creating a temporary table and then we are inserting a row into that temporary table and finally selecting data from it. So all the three actions are happening within the dynamic SQL. So when we try to execute the stored procedure, notice we are able to select the data from the temporary table without any problem. Now let's move the select statement outside of the dynamic SQL code block. Creating the temporary table and inserting a row into that temporary table is happening within the dynamic SQL code block but the select statement is outside of the dynamic SQL code block. It is within the calling procedure. At this point let's alter our stored procedure. The stored procedure is modified successfully. Now let's try to execute this procedure and see what happens. Notice we get an error. It says invalid object name hash test and what is hash test? It is the name of the temporary table that our dynamic SQL code block has created. So basically this proves that temporary tables created by dynamic SQL are not accessible from the calling procedure. They are automatically dropped when the dynamic SQL code block within that procedure completes execution. On the other hand, the dynamic SQL block can access the temporary tables created by the calling procedure. Let's prove this with an example. Let's move these two statements that is creating the temporary table and inserting a row into that temporary table outside of the dynamic SQL code block. So at the moment the create statement and insert statement are within the calling procedure and let's move this select statement into the dynamic SQL code block. So creating and inserting is happening outside of the dynamic SQL code block by the calling procedure and selecting data is happening within the dynamic SQL code block. So let's alter this procedure. And now let's execute the procedure and see what happens. Notice we are able to access data from the temporary table. So basically this proves that the dynamic SQL block can access the temporary tables created by the calling procedure. So here is our first example. Notice within this example, creating, inserting and selecting from temporary table all happen within this dynamic SQL code block. So when we execute this procedure, we don't have any problem accessing that temporary table. And here is our second example. Notice within this example, creating and inserting into temporary table is happening within the dynamic SQL code block, whereas selecting data from the temporary table is happening from the calling procedure that is outside of this dynamic SQL code block. So when we execute this procedure, we get an error invalid object name hash test. That's because the calling procedure will not be able to access the temporary table created by the dynamic SQL code block. That temporary table hash test is automatically dropped when this dynamic SQL code block completes execution. On our next slide, we have our final example. Notice in here, the calling procedure is creating the temporary table and inserting a row into it. Whereas this dynamic SQL code block is simply trying to select data from the temporary table created by this calling procedure. So when we execute this procedure, we will not have any problem accessing the temporary table because the dynamic SQL code block can access the temporary table created by the calling procedure. So what's the summary? Temp tables created by dynamic SQL are not accessible from the calling procedure. They are dropped when the dynamic SQL block in the stored procedure completes execution. On the other hand, dynamic SQL block can access temporary tables created by the calling stored procedure. Thank you for listening and have a great day.